everyone. Thank you for checking out my video zine review. Thank you to anyone that watched the last one I did. I have three things to review today, two zines and one book. And as always, I will talk very fast to make it a short video because no one likes long videos. Up first, A Visitor in Myself, number eight. This came out in January of 2020. Um, this is written by Nicole, who lives in Chicago. Nicole used to do a zine called Pieces. And Pieces and A Visitor in Myself have excellent layouts. Uh, when I'm trying to do a nice, special, fancy layout for one of my zines, a lot of times I pull out some of Nicole's zines and kind of use them for inspiration. Um, one of my top three favorite layout artists. Um, this is a lot of typewritten stories, a little bit of handwritten. Um, the beginning here has a really great line. Uh, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. I really, really like that. Uh, this is about past traumas and anxiety and, you know, all those uncomfortable feelings that us humans feel. And Nicole trying to work through them and going to therapy and talking about her childhood, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, a lot of good personal stories. Also, um, a story in here about doing mushrooms. So if you want to read a drug story, you can read about, you know, her experience with that. I think this is probably two or three bucks. Um, I will get Nicole's info and post that so you can track this down. Um, if you like her old zine pieces, you will also like a visitor in myself. Up next, Negative Scissors. Negative Scissors is written by a non-binary zinester named Zendra, or Zendra, if you want to call them Zendra, which I do. Um, all the covers look the same. There's, I think, four issues of this, um, except for, you know, issue two has a two on it, or a three, or whatever. Um, I don't think this is normally how the zine is. I think normally it's just a regular half size, but um, uh, Zendra sent me the PDF, and I printed it out and cut it and stapled it myself. Uh, each page typewriter typewritten story um, each page is its own story which is kind of nice I read a lot of zines with long stories um, so it's kind of nice once in a while to read one where just like one page is a story and you're done um, and you can move on so you can just read a few here and there throughout the day or whatever uh, lots of uh, random stories about everyday life um, there is a story about uh, someone cutting in line at the post office you know the politics of social interaction. Um, I really like that. There was also a story about clogging the toilet. Um, not the way that you think because for some reason uh, Zendra decided to flush some compost down the toilet which I guess you could some things you could probably flush down the toilet. I've never really thought about that. Um, but vegetable peels, peach pits, lemon ends. No, no, don't flush that down the toilet or it will ruin your day and you'll have to write a story about it in a zine later. Um, the PDF is available on Etsy. I don't know if you can get physical copies or not, but PDFs are like two bucks or like five bucks for all of them or something like that. So um, check it out. Lots of good little short stories. Zine out of Toronto. Uh, last but not least, The Year of Zines. This is written by a woman uh, in Portland named Sarah. Um, for the year 2019, every day Sarah did a zine. The little one page, you know, fold them and cut them kind of, you know, one page zines. She did one every single day for a year. Some of them are very serious. Some of them are very silly. Uh, but this is a book of her favorite 100 uh, little one page zines. So, you know, some of them are about the politics in Chile. Um, some of them are about, you know, white privilege. Some of them are about riding bikes and getting crushes. Um, some of them are just new names for vegetables, such as sunballs instead of tomatoes or blood bombs instead of beets. Um, you know, I like it. Uh, for It's 12 bucks. You can get it from her. You can get it from Antiquated Future, which is where I got it. Um, for 12 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. This is a great book. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Uh, that's it. Thank you much.